Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Catamult Diaries. I'm your host, Captain Bernie Man FM, and I welcome you to this long term football manager 20 save where we're going to take over the Dutch minnows that are VVV fellow and take them all the way to European glory. It's going to be a long term one. It's going to be a long one. It really is because season number three right now, and we are still battling to become the top team in. Dutch football, so never mind, just in Europe. So Europe is there, it's in, it's in the future, for now, it's, and we're still going for the Dutch title. Well, it's, anywho, let's get on with today's episode, because it's an absolute crunch one. Yes, we're playing Ajax again, and we've played Ajax a million and one times on this save already, but the second game of the episode is a real big one. We have got PSV in the semi-final of the Dutch Cup. And we've been here before, our first ever season, we got to the semi-final, we lost to FC Groningen then. So we're going to have to do it the big time this time. So if we beat PSV though, it takes out the favourite in the cup. And I think that puts us in pole position to go and win our first ever bit of silverware for VVVV Venlo. Anyway, straight up to the schedule, let's check out what we've been up to since we were last together. So we've only really played like a month and a little bit. Since we were last together, last time we were together, we had the 3-3 draw against PSV and the 2-2 versus Vitesse. Since then, we drew again against MVV, which was obviously a bit of a kick in the backside. Especially because for some weird reason, I, can't, I keep forgetting when a lone player's out to tell them that they're not allowed to play against me. Two seasons in a row now. This time, it came up against MVV and Aaron Bastians. Yes, if you are a fan of VVV Venlo, then this kid is actually breaking through this season for them in real life. Well, in this one, he banged one in on the 81st minute to make it 1-0. I thought, and I was just, I'm like, it's happening again. It happened last year with Hadji Wright when he went on loan to go ahead. We scored two against us. But we salvaged the draw. Riyad Brewster on the 88th minute, finally putting the ball in the back of the net. We walked away with a point. Then we started February with another draw, a nil-nil draw this time as well. And I felt like we just needed to go back to basics a little bit. I went back onto the tactics, I changed it up a little bit, went from being attacking back to positive and just wanted to go back to what we were at the start of the season. I even changed the player responsibilities, so their roles in central midfield to what they are used to instead of playing the same system as what we've done for the last two years kind of thing. Because I just felt like some of the players... We're just getting caught out a little bit by some of the teams that were coming, sitting back, and we just couldn't seem to break them down. So just change it up a little bit, and hopefully things could start changing. This was the last game that we didn't change it. This was the reason why we did change it. And whoopee do did we change it. 5-0 to the Venlo against Hurenveen. Horahan, Farai, Vignato with two, and Ria Brewster with the goal to finish it off with a fifth. And it was a fantastic performance. And then we followed that performance up with a fantastic away victory at Aizen Alkmaar. Yeah, they're not doing very well this season. They were the ones, if you remember, that pipped us to the post for Europa League football last season. And this year, they've just completely crumbled under the pressure of playing an extra game in the week. Vignato got an trick in this one and Nasser Chadley getting on the score sheet as well. And last but not least, the last game that we just played against FC Groningen, it was a 3-2 victory away from home. We went 1-0 up, they brought it back. We went 2-0 up, we went 3-1 up, and then they scored in the 88th minute. It was goals with Vignato, Brewster and Cora Horahan again, and we were 3-1 up before the break, and it was pretty much game, set and match as well. Papadopoulos played in this game, and he got substituted at centre-back, because he's bloody rubbish. And that leads us to today's games. Ajax at home, and then only a couple of days later... We have the big one. The semi-final of the Dutch Cup away at the Philips Stadium. Yes, they do not have neutral grounds for the semi-finals. Unfortunately, we've got to go to PSV and hopefully get a victory. There's a big gap, actually. It's not three days. There's a big gap between the Ajax game and now. There's seven days so that. So there is three days, but I will see you there in two ticks. Well, actually, before we do actually shoot off for those two ticks and get into the game, I did just want to show you one bit of news, and that is at the end of the season, we are now bringing in a couple of lads, and we're also getting rid of quite a few players from our reserve under-19s that have got to that age now. They're not going to make it into our first team. First real biggie, though, to leave, and I did mention it in the last episode as well, and that is Mark Noble. He is going after 12 months. We brought him in on a short-term contract. He's 34 yet now. So to be 35 and in this league is not what I'm looking for. 
He will do a job until the end of the season. And he's going over to France. He's having a bit of a swan song at the end of his career and going around the European League. So he's going to do go to France with Rennes and do a fantastic job for them. But I did want to show you really quickly just a couple of lads that we've decided to bring in on free transfers at the end of the season. And I think you're going to bloody love them. Obviously, Per Shaw's is the first one that we're going to bring in. And I've had a look at some other people that have been playing football manager this year other creators and a lot of them have this kid in their team so i'm just thinking to myself he's going to be really good a few seasons under the belt he's going to be really good to get him on a free transfer as well is going to be an absolute steal for us because look how good he's played for us over the last two seasons he's our main center half these days and i'm absolutely delighted to get him on board Second central defender to bring in, though, is Lorenzo Parola. And if you're an Inter Milan fan, then you'll know who this kid is. Obviously, at this moment in time, he's not playing with Inter Milan. He's on loan at Ven Venezia. And he is playing in Serie B. So that's obviously like the championship equivalent to the Premier League. So not too bad. 24 games this season and started every single one of them. I think we've picked up a pretty decent looking player here. Capped at under 20 level for Italy. And if anything, he'll come on board next season as a bit of a backup, pushing for those first team places. But I think we've got a pretty decent young lad here on board. I mean, heading 14, marking 15, tackling 12, positioning 15. Then his determination 16, decision making 18, well up to 18, anticipation 15. And then his physicals are pretty decent as well. The only thing he's not great on is his strength. But he's 20 years old and he will only get better. And then Mustafa Sane, who is a central defender, he's 18 years old, won't play straight away, but he's already got six caps for Senegal. Yeah, Senegal International. And we picked him up from Generation Foot. And look at those stats already, 7.44 and a 7.23, and we've got him on a free transfer, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be some player, 18 years old, 18 strength. He could be pushing next season to be in the first team. That's all I am saying. At the moment, they're saying he's good enough to play in the league below. But I only see the best for this kid. Watch out for Mustafa Sane. And that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I will now let you get on with the games. And actually, before we actually jump into the next game, I'm a bit all over the place today. I think what we'll do is we need to have a quick look at the league. This is how things are sitting after 24 rounds so far this season. We are currently in fourth position, but we're only five points off the top of the table. Ajax, PSV and Feyenoord are really pushing for that. We're just on the brink of a title challenge. We're eight points clear of Groningen in fifth, so there's a big gap between us and them. It is between the four of us this season. Look at the difference in the goal difference, where if you look at Groningen who are in fifth, they've got eight and then there's us on plus 35, Feyenoord plus 33, PSV plus 28, and Ajax plus 31. It's as close as it's ever going to get. PSV have only lost one game this season, and they're second. We've only lost two, and we're fourth. How crazy is that? Looking at the player stats, Riyad Bruce has started to get back on the goal scoring charts. 17 now, three behind Malin, who is top goal scorer, and the rest were nowhere near anywhere else because. We've been hit and missed all this season. That's the thing. Look, look at the draws. Nine draws. We stop those draws and we can win the league. If you just look above my head, you'll be able to see that PSV and Feyenoord have actually played today and they have drawn nil-nil. That doesn't really open anything up for us in the league, but if we can manage to get a win against Ajax today, then that will push us up to 41 points. Uh, 51 points, my pardon. And that will put us one point behind Feyenoord and then only three off the top of the table. So this could not get any bigger. Problem is, we've got a couple of injuries. Those injuries come in the form of the goalkeeper, Del Ferraro. Right, he's match fit, he's saying. So why the hell is he not in this team? <laughs> get straight back in the team, my lad. And I think that'll be the only change that we do make today. We just need to change the goalkeeper's background because we've got Ashby Hammond not on the bench. Catabol doesn't even get on the bench these days. Unfortunately, he has completely broken down. <laughs> and he will not be playing for the rest of the season, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. He's our head of youth development now and he's, he's concentrating on that position. But this is going to be the starting level for us. It's Del Ferraro in goal. Javier right back. We've got um, Shaw's Sandler and Pierre 
is now at left back because Di, Di, Di Marco, who is our Italian left back, is out injured. So we're going to have to just play with Sandler. Probably change him up to more of his. Um, I think he's going to be more of a central defender. We'll do that when we go through to the next screen. Then we've got Noble as a ball uh, deep line playmaker. This is where we changed it around. Mazzala stays the same, but he's now Mazzala attacking for Manuel Ferrai and a box to box midfielder with Conor Hurahan. We've taken away the the advanced playmaker and the ball uh, ball winning midfielder, and we've changed up a little bit. Noble now dictates the player as a quarterback in this position. Horahan can run around the pitch and get up and down as much as he possibly wants to. Then we've got Vignato on the right, Nasa Chadley on the left. It's going to be the first time you guys are going to get to see Nasa Chadley as well. Uh, starting, because he hasn't started much games for this season because John Yubo is still out injured. And then Riyad Brewster up top. So this is the starting eleven, and they're going for a very similar looking formation to us as always. Graven Birch is the man that we need to look out for. 7.35 already this season. Incredible stuff. Denny Blin still plays at the back. Talifico is still their left back from the first season. Quincy Promise is in there. Amin Musa also very dangerous. 24 goals this season for Ajax. This is going to be a big, big game. I was asking my assistant manager what we should do, but I'm actually going to go back. I'm going to say, well, we're the underdogs here. Give the fans something to cheer about. We are at home, so we should be going at them. We should be going for it. I've got faith in them. They all love it. Let's get straight on to the game. Oh, before I do that, actually, on to the tactics. Let's give Philip Sandler possibly his position that he should be looking at. I think if we give him a cover position as a central defender, then he'll do well. And same with Perry. We'll give him a wing-back position. Actually, full-back and support instead of being a complete wing-back. And I think that will do. First highlight of the game coming to Ajax, though. And it's Graven Birch. Fitz Jim there. He puts the ball over the top. And here comes Stengs. Stengs now puts the ball back in there. I and mean, Musa big save by Del Ferraro. Highlight to us. Horahan puts it in there. And, oh, is that a chance? Was that a chance? I think that was Brewster, weren't it? Who puts the ball over the top of the bar. Not the best highlight in the world. Coming up to the 25th minute now, though, and we've taken the game to Ajax here. Come on, big win today, and this is this will push us. This will put us in right in there with the title challenge. I lost today, and we're then playing massive catch-up. Ball's bouncing around, big save by the goalkeeper, and that's the reason he's back in the goal today. He hasn't missed a game. He got injured after the match in training, but he was out for a couple of days, and I thought he was going to miss that. My assistant manager wanted Ashby Hammond in goal. But he's match fit and there's no chance that Ashby Hammond is going to get in front of him. I'm waffling on here. Good Brewster. Big tackle from Danny Blind. Ball goes out for throwing. And there's a highlight. And I don't know where that came from. Must have been from the corner. I think it was. I was waffling on too much. I couldn't even remember. It was promise though. And it was promise now. Big tackle from Emmanuel Vignato. And Vignato is getting better and better as the season goes on. He's running at Tavla Cavico. And he beats him. It's Vignato going for the strike. And he put the ball in the back of the head. <laughs> and that would have been... Some goal, but the goalkeeper stops us getting that wonder strike there. Farai puts it in there. I think that's going to be another corner to us. And the pressure is cranking up from Venlo. And here we go once again. Farai puts the ball into the box. He's headed away, is it? Timber does then clear it out. And I think that will be that. Two one minutes, 27 seconds on the clock. And here come Ajax. Hopefully we can get the ball back here. Chadley, can he get a good clearance away? And he does. He finds Vignato in the centre of the field. Vignato running at the defence again today. He finds Ria Brewster with a lovely ball through. And it's another big chance from us. Two clear-cut opportunities now. They've had the same clear-cut opportunities as well. And it's a very surprising. This is still nil-nil. Half-time it is. Seven shots, five on target. And 50-50% possession. So we've had the best one going forward. But that's about it. Keeper is having a very good game. I appreciate your efforts, lads. Keep it up. Everyone looks absolutely delighted. Goal in this second half from us will be absolutely massive. I'm just looking at their players. They're looking quite tired out there compared to our lads. A lot of them in the 70s and the 60s already. We're still in the 80s. So hopefully that bit of fitness will be the difference in the second half. They've set off a little bit better in the second half though. Uh, more shots so far and more possession. And we... Ooh, Matt Noble has taken a bit of a knock. We're on 60 minutes now. Do we change up a little bit? I think we do. After this highlight, Mamo Farai's there on a 6.4, not playing great. And things have got a little bit stalemate for us in the second half. Perry wins the header, but it comes to Timber, who puts the ball back in the box. Sandler does really well, gets the ball away again. And here comes Fitz Jim now to Gravenberch. Can we get the ball off these guys? We're trying to press them really quickly here. But I think Ajax are going to pick us apart a little bit. And here comes Timber, puts the ball out to the edge of the box. 
They then lose the ball, do they? Brewster does pick it up, and we can get on here. Can we get a goal? Can we strike first? Brewster goes for the strike. He was all alone, and it goes over the top of the bar. I am going to make a little change. Nasa Chathers on a 6.3, so we're going to get Rolando Ahrens on the left-hand side, and we're going to get Manuel Ferrari off, and we're going to get Richard Njordecker on to the pitch as an attacking Mazala where he can actually play. I'm just looking at the rest of the team. Matt Noble is struggling a little bit out there. We've got Alberto on the bench who can come on and we can change up to that ball winning midfielder but everyone else seems to be doing okay out there. Do I change Noble up now or do I wait? Make the change now. We're going to go triple sub. This could come to bite me on the backside or it could work absolute wonders. We're going to get him as a ball winning midfielder and we're going to leave it at that. Does is Nyodeka okay as a Mazala? We go for an advanced playmaker. I think we go advanced playmaker because now we've taken away our deep line playmaker and we just switch it up that way. Hopefully it will make the difference. I've made the changes and I've also shouted onto the lads to get creative. Their left back has just got injured, Tag Tagliafico. Does that knock them down to 10 men? No, I do not think it does. We've got 15 minutes to go. I'm not pushing forward too much in this one because I don't want to get caught off by Ajax, but I have asked them to get creative here. And are they going to do something? It's Ajax with the ball over the top here and the highlight, and it's Am and Musa. And if that would have gone in, I would have gone absolutely ape backside because that was a simple ball over the top and very, very easy to cut out. I think Ajax, I think this is going to end nil nil, you know. I don't feel, unless we get a goal here, Hurahan puts it in there. There's Brewster! Oh! Oh, we need to get a win here today. A win here, five minutes stoppage time, and we've got a highlight. Can we do something? Shaw's now. Ball over the top. Brewster's through. Riyad Brewster, can he get the goal? He takes him out of the game. <laughs> yes! And it's 1 0. 89th minute. Goal by Riyad Brewster. The ball over the top by Shaw's. I thought he'd taken it way too far. I mean, is he onside? That is the question. He takes it round the goalkeeper. He kind of takes it just to the side of him and puts it into the back of the net. And VVV Venlo take the lead against the Giants Ajax. And we are now only three points off the top of the table. We've got to hold on though here. I've not touched the highlights. I've not touched anything. It goes into the 95th minute and the whistle is blown. And we've finally got and done it. And is this the change of the season? Is this the change of the guards in the Dutch Football League, RVV Venlo, actually going to be one of the big boys and the title challenges for this season. I think so. Absolutely appreciate the efforts, boys. Incredible stuff. Straight on to the Dutch semi-final against PSV. But before we do that, there is confirmation. And as you say, after 25 rounds now, there's three points in it from fourth all the way to first. The lads were in 5th, they're 11 points behind, so there's a massive gap between 4th and 5th. So it is a 4 horse race for the title this season. It's going to be absolutely incredible. That is so here we go, this is it, semi-final time against PSV, there's not much else to say. Ajax beat AZ Atma 6-1 in the other semi-final, so what I was saying earlier that we will be the favourites to go through. Uh, we've got to go and beat Ajax again, like we've just done in the game previously. Matt Van Bommel, Sturvel manager. PSV is still the team to try and beat, really. They are the ones. They're the ones that have won the league every year since we've been on this game. My assistant has given me a bit of a team that I believe that does not deserve to be playing. He's put Njordeka at left back. I think Luke Nielis has wanted PSV to win as he's a PSV legend. The positions are going to be exactly pretty much the same and the formation is pretty much going to be the same and the playing staff are going to be pretty much the same as the last game apart from Alberto comes in instead of Mark Noble. If you want to go through it, it's Del Ferraro, Javier, Shows, Sadler, Perry, Alberto, Ferrai, Hurahan <laughs> with Vignato, Chadley and Brewster. The starting formation looks very similar to what we've been playing against all this season. And I don't know if I mentioned, but Fozu Mensa plays for them as well these days for Manchester United, so that's lovely, isn't it? I'm going to come in there, like I always say, passionately say to the lads that we're underdogs here and give the fans something to cheer about. We are the underdogs when it comes against PSV and Ajax and a lot. And then I'm going to come in nice and calmly and say to them, I've got faith in you, go out there and make the difference. But before we do go on to the game, I'm just going to make them changes really, really quickly. We're going to put Alberto as a ball winning midfielder, but on defence. So it doesn't really change his positioning on the pitch. And then we're going to have Farai as an advanced playmaker, but in attack. So we've now got a playmaker in midfield, and then we're going to have 
Perry as a wing back but in support, actually sorry, full back but in support and Sadler will come in as a central defender cover because he can fit in that position a lot better than the other one. Looks a lot better doesn't it? See you in a sec. There's a highlight straight away, 1 minute 15 seconds into the game. And here comes Javier over the top. And here comes Brewster now. Can he put us 1-0 up? A big, big start for us. He hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Clear-cut opportunity. He's still getting in those positions, though, which is a really, really good thing for us. I don't mind him missing a couple of clear-cut opportunities as long as he keeps getting in those positions to put the ball into the back of the net. It's sooner rather than later. It does. Chadley goes for the strike at the edge of the box. He goes over the top. And we've started the quicker team here. Alberto. And here comes Javier now. Javier puts the ball into the box. It bounces off the post. And they somehow get the ball away. Highlight again. And it's deep in PSV's half. Can we get on this? No, we can't. Our right back decided to take steps back then. Here goes Malin now. Goes for the strike. And ooh, he has been our bogeyman over the last couple of years as Malin. And scored many, many, many goals against us. This game is highlight crazy at the minute. And we're only eight minutes into the match. But, oh, looking for Brewster. It does bounce off. Vignato picks it back up. And it's Emmanuel. Uh, Vignato again. He goes for the strike. And it flies over the top of the bar. We're taking the game to PSV. Since that frantic start, things have really quietened down. We're coming up to the 35th minute now. Only 10 minutes to go until the break. And not a single highlight since then. Saying that, here we go. 38 minutes on the clock. And here comes Perry. Perry now going for the long ball over the top. Never normally works for us, but somehow we've ended up winning the ball back here. And here comes Vignato. Big tackle from Dykes at left back. And PSV are going to start here. The lovely passing, but Shaws is there to intercept. Javier has actually picked up a injury, a bit of a knock at right back. So hopefully we can... Hopefully it's not going to affect him too much, but he does lose out to Dykes there. And Dykes, a real big chance for PSV. And it's a big save from Del Ferraro again in goal. Del Ferraro is still saying that he's only like a decent goalkeeper at this level. I'm telling you, he is miles better than what they're saying. Very, very much so. And here come PSV again, though. Is this the end of the highlight? It certainly is. I keep Javier probably on at right back until half time and have a proper look at him. Bruce puts the ball into the middle there. Chadley's got to pick this up. It's Nasser Chadley now. Can he get the ball back in? It's Bruce with the. <laughs> And we take a 1 0 lead away at the Phillips Stadion with the goal from Riyad Bruce. He put the ball into the box there, it was headed away. Chadley picked it up and he put a lovely ball back in there. And there is Riyad Bruce with the header and he makes it 1 0 to the Venlo. And the old boys are on top form here. Fantastic stuff. This could be an episode to remember the way that we play. And as I say that, there comes a highlight and it's PSV. And it's just a long ball over the top and here comes Malin. And Malin now, big tackle from Pershaws. I'm telling you, he's going to be the signing. He's going to be the signing of this series, I'm telling you now. For free transfer from Ajax, he's just getting better and better at centre-back. But I'm saying that and here comes Pereiro, who's been our bogeyman as well. As Doan as as well. Well, he has and I take that back. Ritsu Doan has never really played against us before. But he has played today. And he's bloody gone and scored, hasn't he? It's Pereiro, though, who has been our bogeyman for the last couple of seasons. Puts the ball to the box. And I think Per Shaw's missed the header. <laughs> After everything I said, I think he missed the header. He did, because I think he's on like a 6.5 now. Anyway, we're going to the break. 1-1. One, one. Classic. Get your efforts, boys. Keep it up for the second half. Absolutely. He's on a 6.1 and Sandler... And on a 6.5, it's Sandler that missed the header, actually, not Per Shaw. So I take that one back. They really need to pick up their game. 6.4 again, this time from Vignato. 6.5, 6.5s in the middle of the park as well from Horahan and Farai. They need to pick their game up because we're right in it here. We're nowhere near behind like those ratings are showing. They pick up their games and we win this match. Just about to say, not much happened since the kick off the second half but here we go Bruce puts the ball into the box it's Nasser Chadley 2-1 to Venlo come on here we go what a strike from the former Spurs man as he smashes it into the back of the net lovely stuff from Riyad Bruce he picks up on this right side he turns the defender and he runs it and he says come on you catch me and he doesn't puts the ball into the box and there's Chadley on the half volley to fire it into the back of the net it's PSV 1 it's VVV Venlo 2 and can we Hold on to this lead now. We do not want to concede straight away. Ball over the top though for Malin. 
We do not want to concede straight away. I don't think it was 30 seconds, was it? <laughs> I don't think it was 30 seconds. Straight from the kickoff, straight to the left back, who just boots it over the top. It's just a long ball. We get caught out by this long ball all the time. There's Malin, puts it in, 2-2. Sandler at the back is our covering defender. He wasn't covering very well there, was he? 59 minutes on the clock. I'm not changing anything just yet. Still 2-2. Ball goes back to the goalkeeper. It's a very, very tight game, this one. Ball over the top again. Sandler is all over the place. Malin makes the save. Not Malin. Malin misses a chance. It's Del Ferraro that makes the save. Um, do we look about getting Sandler off? Because he's having a bit of a torrid time there. At the back, Malin makes it 3-2. This game has been turned on its head. And PSV now lead within minutes of us going 2-1 up. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. And this guy, Malin, always scores against us. Every season now, he's put the ball in the back of the net against us. And most of the time, it's been the winner as well. Because we never seem to beat PSV Eidhoven. Right, I'm going to change things up just quickly. I'm quite sure what to do, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think Vignato's had a shocking game on 6.4. I think if we get Rolando Aaron's on, and we get Farayoff again. Again, another poor, poor performance from him. I'm very disappointed in the last two games from Manuel Farai. He's very hit and miss. Against the big teams, he doesn't seem to perform well at all. Uh, Kick Perry's on a 6.1 there, but we can't do anything with anyone at left back because he's the backup left back to our left back who's out injured at the moment, Di Marco. So, so this is the, these are the two changes that we're going to have to go with and we're going to have to stick with. I've also thrown on some encouragement to the team as well with these changes. I'm keeping the lad on at left at right back as well who's got the injury because he's not really affected him that much. I'm just more concerned about our left back position. Can we make a difference here? Can we do something? It looks like we're going to lose by three goals to two at this rate. Here comes Javier, but here comes Alberto now. We've got our first chance since the substitutions. Javier finds Chadley on this left-hand side. Can he get a lovely ball into the box? He's got Brewster in there. Perry, Horahan going the wrong way. Turn round, Connor lad. Gives it to Alberto. Don't shoot from there. Neodecker. Neodecker could have found the right pass. Alberto. The ball is bouncing around a little bit. They then win the ball back, but it's only going to fall to our lad. Here comes Sandler now. Can he find the right pass? Just boots it up the field looking for Brewster. And that's not going to be good enough for us. They've caught us out there. And we're looking a little bit. Say that ball over the top. Here comes Riyad Brewster. Massive chance for us. And oh, he's missed. He's missed it. The keeper saved it. We don't deserve to be losing this game. We don't deserve to. It's very close. If I'm going to be completely honest. It's four shots the difference between the, the two of us. 50-50% possession. Can we get a late equaliser here? We've got to. This is a massive episode. I can't fall at the hurdle, uh, at the semi-final hurdle once again. This will be two times in three seasons that we've got to the semi-final position of the cup and not been able to go through. Del Ferraro makes safe. Come on, don't be the end of the highlight. And it is the end of the highlight. I don't want to go too attacking against a team like this because they'll just pick us off. And here we go. It's Javier now. Can he find the ball over the top? It comes Shaws. Shaws finds Rolando Ahrens. Ahrens to Neodecker. He's bursting forward. He's got Brewster in the middle. Can he find Brewster? He goes saved. It's... I've got no words. No words. Just, just screeches. And there's another highlight. Ball over the top. We've got to pick that one up. Shaws does. And we've got the ball back here. Come on. We've got a big chance. Come on. Del Ferraro is going to go for the long kick here because everyone's ruined up the pitch. Ah, oh, it's a shocker. It's a shocking kickoff. And here come PSV. And are they going to put the final nail in the coffin? It's bounced around. Shaws wins the tackle. Can we get one more highlight? I think we are. Del Ferraro picks it out of the air. We've got one minute, one opportunity. Don't let it slip. That's Eminem. I don't care. Let's do it. <laughs> here we go. Here comes Chadley now on the left-hand side. Can he find the right pass? He doesn't. And that, I think, could be that. Or will it? We've still got 30 seconds. It only takes a second to score a goal. Someone once said, once upon a time, Per Shaws is on the right-hand side. He finds Neodeca with the right pass. He's running at the defence. He loses it. But here we go once again. 20 seconds now. Sandler. It comes to Chadley. No, he doesn't. And that is game, set, and match to PSV. And we're out of the cup. JFS boys, I really do. But yeah, not this year. And there is confirmation of the 3-2 defeat to PSV. Basically, what this means is that we've got to finish in the top three now. Because we can't set a chance. Actually, no. No, I take that completely back because Ajax and PSV are in the final. So we can finish in the top four this year. We won't go into a Europa League playoff if we finish fourth again.
take that one side, that cup game, and just put it on the side for a little bit because our league form is incredible at the minute. We are 18 games unbeaten in the league, right? So we can't have any disappointment about anything that's been going on. I think we get these four games out of the way and then we look to bring you a game back in April and see where we are for the running of the season. It might be one of those where we play every single game on the run-up towards the end of the season if it is a title challenge. But I think if we get these games out of the way and then we come back for April time and see where we are, I think that will be the plan for this season. So if you enjoyed this episode as much as I have, if you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and share it share amongst friends and family on social media and push it out as far as you possibly can. Tell them word of mouth, send out a carrier pigeon. Do what you need to do to get people watching my series. If you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm up to, follow me at Captain Berry Man FM. All my details are in the description below. But I would really appreciate it if you guys, if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, just click onto my name, click subscribe and then turn on your notifications because I want to show you what I'm doing and what the other stuff I'm doing as well. I've got a couple of other Football Manager content pieces on there and all that Football Manager content pieces are brought to you in collaboration and with support from Passion for FM. I want to give a massive shout out to the guys over there for giving me the biggest support they can possibly can. If you'll see you in a couple of days, time for another episode of the Catamore Diaries. Bye-bye.